Well, this report will benefit many people. Uh, principally, it'll benefit members of the public and people who use pharmacy services, whether those are services in the community or services within the healthcare system. Pharmacists have the greatest contact with members of the public, both healthy and ill, and we believe that uh, their location, accessibility can be exploited positively. Secondly, we are very conscious of the growing burden of chronic disease in, in the country and we believe that there is a, a real opportunity for us to utilise pharmacists' skills in a way that they can manage uh, their chronic disease more effectively. And then thirdly, on the wider front, we want to use pharmacists' skills to um, aid the whole medicines management process. This is not just about patients taking their medicines and helping them, but it's looking at the whole safety of medicines, making rational drug choices, and, and improving cost effectiveness. This report I think will be very useful because it gives an evidence base for what we've done. I do believe that the more pharmacists do, the more to benefit patients. I think the report definitely shows how patients are at the centre. For me, the pharmacy plays such a crucial role in that, you know, a gatekeeper really for, for people who are living and their families living with conditions between their normal lives and, and their sickness. The Future Pharmacy Practice Report contains a number of recommendations essentially about strengthening and expanding the role of pharmacists in the agenda of Healthy Ireland, which is, I suppose, focusing on prevention, on early intervention, and on supporting and empowering patients uh, to look after their own health and well-being. This report provides a, a reference point and it also allows the, the health service to see how the profession itself has charted a way forward as to where it believes the future of pharmacy practice will be. It's very important for us when the patient's admitted into hospital that we have an accurate uh, list of their medication and we link in with the community pharmacies and the GPs in doing that but it's also very important for the GPs and community pharmacists and the patient that they have an accurate record of what treatment the patient received while in hospital. So there's a number of benefits for the patients um, coming out from this report was particularly around medication review and focus medication review by expert pharmacists. evidence is important for us to inform how we as pharmacists practice uh, to the benefit of patient safety and how we integrate with our healthcare colleagues. Continuing professional development will be really a, a key critical component, not least because it'll provide a quality assurance framework, it'll drive professional standards, but I suppose more fundamentally it will um, help pharmacists realise their professional potential in, in enhancing patient care. We have pharmacy students doing practice placements in a variety of practice settings before they become qualified and that means that those students will be very well equipped to meet the future needs of pharmacy practice. We can't afford not to introduce these recommendations. This is something I think that has to be done. And if we look at the experience in other countries, they have walked that road and we need to walk it too.